Hello Guardians, it is Ebontus here. It is December 3rd and it is the last week of Season of the Undying. So if you check your season pass, you can come up here and look. We have 6 days and 20 hours left. I just got home. Now, there is some other stuff that I'm going to cover today in a separate video. The trailer for Season of Dawn and the Season Pass page has been updated, so stay tuned for another video coming from me. It's going to go over and break down as much as I can from the trailer and the page as well. So look for the new season information that we've got coming here in just a little while. So that'll be in a separate video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys don't want to miss out on that one. But six hours and 20 days, 20 hours left, six days and 20 hours, I can't talk, left to finish up whatever you need in the season. If you guys are still trying to get up to 950, we got some powerful gear. Well, let me go through the big stuff, so as you guys are grinding out these final pieces, we'll take a look at what we got. Alright, Guardians, so for the Vanguard tab, we've got Vanguard Strikes this week on a Solar Singe. Got a triple Brawler week, so your rotation will go Tuesday, Brawler, Wednesday, Heavyweight, oh, sorry. Yeah, Wednesday heavyweight, Thursday is Grenadier, and back to Brawler on Friday. So three times Brawler, if you're working on any of those ability kills and stuff like that for your Vanguard quests and such. Brawler is actually one of those things I've got to work on, so I'll spend some time in here. For the Vanguard Nightfall Ordeal, we've got Savathun's Song, and on Master Difficulty we have the following modifiers. Martyr, Explorer units have more health, so Curse Thrall are going to be a bit of a pain in the butt, but they're there. Unstoppable and barrier champions tend to be a common theme. Togetherness, base health regen is reduced. If near another player, health regen is increased, so playing as a team and sticking close together is a good thing. Just don't all get exploded together, so these two kind of uh, counteract as if they explode, they'll kill you, but you gotta be next to each other to get your health back. It'd be interesting. More champions, of course, match game, and Savathun's Dirge. Incoming void and aerial damage is increased, so keep your bot on the ground and avoid the void damage from Ogres and the boss and many, many sources that are void in the strike. For your old school Nightfalls, we've got a Garden World, and your reward here is going to be a Ghost Shell. I forget the name of it. You got the Inverted Spire that we just got done actually going through with the big giant drill where you land down. And then finally, the Corrupted, and this is the one on the uh, Dreaming City where you can actually get the Horrors Least Pulse Rifle. If you guys are going for a Curse Breaker, you do actually need that one. So Corrupted is one you may want to look into working on. If you're running Corrupted, my advice is probably run Arc. So that's typically what I do on that one. Inverted Spire and Garden World. I don't think there's too much there that you need to worry about. But Corrupted does have a weapon you are probably going to want to get if you're still going for that Curse Breaker title. For Crucible, we are back to kind of a normal look here. Your standard modifiers. It is my week to do Survival Freelance, so I will stream whenever I go through there from 0 to 2100. If you guys want to see a little montage of clips in a video of my journey to uh, Solo Fabled, I will put that one up, so let me know in the comments below. We have Momentum Control. It is back. Everybody's favorite if you're working on Randy's Throwing Knife, if you need Scout Rifle Kills. Basically, if you need to complete any quests in uh, PvP that you're going for, any of those Ritual and uh, Pinnacle weapons, this is the place to do it. I know people working on Mountaintop Grenade Launcher Kills or Single Shots. Scout Rifle Kills. One shot to the head with a powerful one, people drop. Bows are really fun to use in here. Uh, anything hits really hard, so just have fun and momentum control. Again, don't take it too seriously, because things hit like a truck and you'll get killed from a scout rifle in like a split second. So, it's a bit dicey, but it's a lot of fun. Other than that, your normal rumble, control, countdown is your 4v4 list over here. Elimination labs up here is going to be also a thing. Um, they just keep rotating through. And we've got more to talk about ne um, about the stream and probably more we're going to learn next week. Gambit is here, still your same three matches for your powerful gear. If you are working on Infamy for anything, for say, Exit Strategy, or you're trying to get your Delirium for the first time, it is um, bonus to Infamy. So if you're working in Gambit, now you should get more Infamy as you play your matches. So if you haven't finished up any of your Gambit stuff, now's a decent time to go in here and try and get that Infamy reset. If you need multiple of those for whatever reason, spend your time in here if you're going for titles or pinnacle weapons and that nature. But extra Infamy this week and probably triple over the weekend. So spend some time in either of these and get that stuff that you're trying to grind out. Flashpoint this week is going to be on IO. So we've got Asher Mir talking to us about our activities, public events, Lost Sectors, Heroic Adventures, High Value Targets. I think Patrols may actually do something now. So spend some time on IO if you do need some powerful gear. If you're still grinding up to 950, now's still a good way to do it. Uh, don't forget about the Heroic Adventures. Those are a good way to knock out a good chunk of this percentage. It'll do like 35%. Heroic public events are 25%. Uh, if you guys don't know how to make a public event heroic, I've got an old video on that one. You can check it out. I did it for every public event that exists. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much Flashpoint on IO. Spend some time out there, shoot some stuff, get that percent to 100, get your gear. 
The moon has gone a little bit crazy this week. We've got every nightmare hunt out here. So if you're working on the time trials, if you need that for the title, you literally can work on all of them. Uh, as for your basic stuff down here, 30 nightmares defeated. You've also got your memories. If you haven't finished those up, make sure you finish those with Eris. Uh, this is your last week for Vex Final Assault. So if you're working on Undying, you're going to be spending some time in here as well. Quite a bit if you're at a state that I am where I have to shoot a whole bunch of stuff. So I'll be spending a lot of time in Crucible, Vex Final Assault, and also a lot to look forward to uh, next week as well. So lots to do in this coming week. Of course, you know Pit of Heresy will get you your Pinnacle gear. I'm a little annoyed at how the Pinnacle gear drops in here where your stats don't seem to be that high on the Dream Bane piece that you get. But it is still Pinnacle, so it does have 10 energy. So the nice piece about that is at least you can use all your mods. So bonus there. Raid will still be sitting here. Pinnacle gear dropping from it as well. So if you guys have that one. But yeah, every single Nightmare Hunt is available. So every boss, every weapon, all of these are going to be available. So we've got 18 of them up here. Or 18. Eight of them up here. So you should be able to go after a whole bunch of different things that you need. If you need to grind out certain weapons, you want to go for certain roles. They're giving you this time to try and go after the titles and stuff that you need. So kind of dig through, see if there's anything that you're missing. If one of these is the easiest nightmare hunt, and I figure out which one is for a pinnacle drop, I will let you guys know which one is the easiest to complete on 980 if I finish one of these this week. So look for that one as well in a separate video if I finish one of those. If you have a recommendation of the easiest nightmare hunt, let me know down below in the comments and I'll see what I can put out for you guys. Nothing too crazy going on in the tower right now. Obviously just your bounties that you need to complete for each area, clan EXP, all of those things still haven't really changed too much. The tower has stayed the same. But maybe we'll get some new action coming up here in the next season. We'll see if we get any big changes here. But right now, it doesn't seem like too much is going on. For the Dreaming City, we are on Curse Week 2. And the actual Ascendant Challenge will be in the Chamber of Starlight. It's the Cimmerian Garrison. It's the one where if you got to do the run, it's a bit of a long one. So look for that video coming out later as well if you guys are still working on the Curse Breaker title. Trying to get all your eggs and stuff with your uh, Wish Ender bow. I will get this video up later for you guys. You guys still like the videos, so I'll keep making them until you guys stop watching them. So for now, it will be Chamber of Starlight, and it's the Cimmerian Garrison for your Ascendant Challenge this week. So look for that video later. Finally, we come to the store, and basically they're going to throw everything they can at you. So if there's anything here that you might be missing, now is the time to pick it up. So you've got your Warmind armor ornaments for whatever reason for Season 3. You can get those. Uh, you've got, as it says, Season of Undying is ending, so if there's anything you're missing from this season, especially, definitely now's the time to get it. We've got the Yarn Grape here. I'm probably going to butcher that pronunciation, but it's an ornament for the toaster, which looks very shiny. That's quite pretty. I might actually have to consider that one. The Mechano form, I kind of dig this ship just because it's quite unique. So, definitely a cool looking one. Probably takes shaders pretty well. Yep, pretty clean on the shader front. Quite an interesting little pop of colors there by the Cockpit. So overall, kind of a cool ship if you're looking for a unique one. The Regal Howl, though. We have the um, gun that I cannot think of right now while I'm literally speaking this video. But a Sparrow that actually looks like this one. Shout out to Cognito, who may be looking in this one. Uh, Lord of Wolves is the one I'm thinking of. But a Sparrow that looks like Lord of, Lord of Wolves. This one's kind of sick, actually. One of the more detailed, kind of aggressive looking front ones. This is kind of cool. So definitely one to consider there. you got the Lion Garden Shell. Uh, down here we've got the Profiteer Shell, Treasure Hunter, and Speed Demon. Not my favorite of the combination of perks, but still a cool one for your final week in the Dream Bane world. It's going to basically going to be your representation of that. Seasonal Artifacts. Remember, if you're buying any of the armor that you need for your Empyrean Warlock set, or your Titan, or your Hunter, now is the time to pick up what you need. If you want the Undying Finishers from the kicks and stuff like that, now might be your time to get them, depending on what you have and have not picked up. If there's ornaments or anything of that nature as well, definitely check all this stuff out. And just remember, for like Bright Dust, if you're looking for, like you've got the robes right now for the Empyrean Cartographer set. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up for this character just because I have a good amount of Bright Dust. If I come back here, the silver price will be cheaper depending on what pieces you've acquired throughout the season. So remember, if you have spent some on Bright Dust and you want to spend some silver on this, you can still get the ornaments um, if you want to pick those up. Old stuff in the archive there. For Bright Dust, we've got the Ninja Vanish emote. It's like a Ninja Smoke Bomb gone poorly, because it obviously doesn't go away. So, not much ha happening on that one. Got the Officious Cell Shell. Public Defender. Loot from all public events. That's really not exhilarating. Guiding Light is always good. So, 10% XP is never a bad thing, but there are better Ghost Shells out there. Excuse me. 
refashioned shapes. Still a very cool ship, almost a throwback to the old Crota ship from Destiny 1. A little bit of a tweak to it, but takes shaders pretty well. If you like to experiment, thing looks kind of cool. The Azura Azazel, this is the jet ski basically out there. You've got the Hazard of the Cast weapon and the Imperial Beast Projection. Also got the Shattered Shrieker for your Transmat effect. The Atmospheric Glow, pretty cool shader. I'm kind of digging how this one looks. Just the dark green is one of my colors. So a fan of that, the Fallen Arrival and the Taken Arrival as well. But that pretty much wraps that up, guys. So stay tuned for the video that is coming next. The Season of Dawn trailer dropped. I will do a breakdown of that one, kind of slow-mo, cutting out certain parts and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that one. Ascendant Challenge video will be coming. And then depending on Nightmare Hunts and stuff like that. So if you haven't subbed to the channel, please do so. Lots potentially to work on this week. Uh, you guys can follow me on Twitch. I'll be doing my grind to Crucible, Fabled on there. Also be spending a lot of time, so if you guys just want to come hang out, keep me company while I'm spending some time in the Vex Offensive to grind out the title of Undying, I've got a lot of work to do. So you'll find me on Twitch quite a bit, hopefully this week, because I've got some time. And this weekend, for sure, I've got a whole bunch of time to play. So find me on twitch.tv slash ebontis, twitter.com slash ebontis, and stay tuned for my Season of Dawn info breakdown video coming soon after this and Ascendant Challenge and all of that will be happening today. So stay tuned, lots of videos. Have a great one. I will see you guys soon. Enjoy your week. And next week starts a whole fun bunch of new stuff. So stay tuned for that one. I'm pretty excited. We'll see what comes next. Have a good one. See you soon.